lights down up here so they're a little easier to see. I can always see because I'm looking at the television. <laughs> You can come in. You won't mind. It's just a small thing. A little shot. Let's say. Okay. I am too. Your friends love as much watch. To go tell the world. I think that's how we do it. Did you know an angel was in the tomb? That's true. And he said that my boy would be great. The son of God. He said that he would be the king of angels. The king of all.
loved us so much as we heard in our candle lighting service that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him would not die but have eternal life. God is love. That is who he is first and foremost and always will be. And Mary was chosen to bear the child that showed that love. And because God loved her and loved us, she was allowed to love Christ. The first one to show him that love. The first one to see his face and to know that he was love incarnate. God with us. He came that we might know love and understand it. Because God so loved the world. I've always been drawn to that verse um, because of these words, God so loved the world. It is wide open. It didn't say God so loved me, although I'm part of the world. It didn't say God so loved this denomination or that denomination or this country or that country or, or this group of people or that group of people. It says God loved the world. He loved the world so much that he was willing to become part of the world in the form of his son so that we would have the opportunity to be with him in heaven. He loved the world, but there is a caveat in there. It's whosoever believes in him shall not perish. It's a wide open call but it's our decision, our choice to choose, to choose to believe in Jesus. And so he loved the whole world. And he came in the form of a baby. But as we look at the manger and we, we think about that, that birth of that child, the cross is always there in the background. Because this birth and eventual death and resurrection is the whole package of God's love shown for us. Jesus came and, and lived among us and died for the sins that we have committed, will commit, and are continuing to commit because of God's love for us. Not, not a love that's based on us being good enough. Not a love that's based on us doing something in particular other than believing in Jesus. That love is there for us. And as it says in our passage, get back to that. Verse 11. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. We ought to love one another all year round, but at Christmas time in particular, we are reminded of that call to us. That call to love each other as God has loved us. And that's not an easy love. It's, it's not... Uh, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and hearts and flowers. It's, it's hard love. Because God loves us even when we don't deserve it at all. So how do we show God's love to the people around us? To those that are, those that are in need, those that are hurting, those that are, that are down, those that are sad this time of the year. And we know there are so many that are suffering from loss and Separation. We know that there are many people who, whose economic situations are hard, whose family situations are complicated and, and confusing. We know there are people at Christmas time, especially, that need to know that God and us <coughs> still love them. So many people can feel no love at Christmas. And it's, it's a sad thing. Now, you know, the wonderful baskets, the bags and, and things that are out there for folks to just show love. What a great thing. 
the Christmas Eve offering that we'll take for love baskets for individuals in our and families in our community. That, that's a wonderful thing to show that love. Those ways of large things, gifts, things like that are important. And we need to do that. But you know, there are other ways we can show love. One of the most tactile forms of showing love is bringing somebody a meal. When Hazel and I were uh, recovering from our, our accident, we couldn't really cook because it's hard to use a stove when you're in a wheelchair. It's not impossible. I found that out, but it ain't easy. And, and the folks in the church brought us meals. It was just an incredible act of love to see that come, to know that somebody cared enough to spend some time to make a meal. Whether it was simple or elaborate, it didn't matter. The point wasn't what it was. The point was that it was a gift of love. To show that kind of love to someone that you know. For whatever reason, that they might need that kind of love shown to them. One other simple way is just to share with people. I had a, a friend in seminary that used to joke that his, uh, he, had, he had a ministry of presence. He said, that means I'll be there, I just won't care. And I said, come on. He said, all right, I'll care and I'll be there. But being there is the most important thing we can do a lot of times. To be there for someone. It isn't that we need to go and solve their problems, that we need to go and give them answers, that we need to, to go and, and do anything in particular, just to be there with them. It's kind of like the story of the little girl who told her mom she was going to go visit her friend, and her mother said, oh, what, what's going on with your friend? She said, well, she lost her favorite doll. Oh, her mother said, so nice, you're going to go and help her look for it. She said, no. I'm going to go and cry with her because it's lost. Sometimes that's what we need to do. We can't fix everyone's problems no matter what we think. We can't always have advice for every situation, but we can have sympathy. We can be there with someone who needs just some support. And, and of course, if you get the lawnmower, It'll be a while before you can mow anybody's lawn, but you know, you shovel snow. You can help somebody push their car out of the snowbank. I mean, we just, the things that we do, sort of sometimes without thinking, are acts of love. And they're important. Because people, more and more, don't realize that they're loved. And Christmas is a time when we're reminded of how much God loves us and how much we need to share that love with all the people around us. So, God is with us. Emmanuel. We, we talked about that. We sing about it. O come, O come, Emmanuel. The baby born in the manger is God made flesh. God come to live among us. God come to show us how to love. And Jesus did that throughout his life. Healing the sick, feeding the hungry, being with people when they were in despair. He had an advantage. He could do something about it. But so can we. We can be there. We can love. We can share and care for people. And we can do that right here and right now. One popular trend a while back is called random acts of kindness. Do something kind for someone and try to do it so they don't know that you've done it. You know, uh, driving through at McDonald's, you say, how much is the order of the people behind me? Oh, it's like $15. Cool. I'm paying for it. And drive off. They don't know you. They have no idea who you are, but somebody just made their day and made them feel loved. Simple, easy things. So, the challenge that is before me, and I hope that you'll take it up, is how will I show God's love today? And then tomorrow, and then the day after that. And, and how will I show God's love every day? 
Could be something as simple as, you know, paying for a cheeseburger and fries for somebody who's in the car behind you. Could be a big thing. Could be going and helping someone with a huge task they have to do that's difficult and hard for them and they just, they don't want to do it and you don't want to do it, but you go and you help them so that they can feel one more thing off their plate. Or, you know, hold the door for somebody. Let somebody pull in in front of you the next time you're stopped at a stoplight. Let them out. Don't keep them boxed in. Simple, easy things that show God's love. I've told you before, I have a friend that every day he gets up and he said, Lord, put someone in my path today that needs to know your love. And then, help me to show it. Because truthfully, every day, someone will cross your path that needs to know about God's love. We just need to open our eyes and be aware and be willing to show that God, that love today. So where will you show God's love today? Wherever you go, with whomever you're with, you can show that love. And that, that is, that is who we are. Because love came down at Christmas and dwelt among us and is still here. Show that love. Amen. Amen. Next week, we'll look at the shepherds and at peace as they found it in a stable, in a little town where they least expected it. I hope you can join us that day also. So as we take time now to consider one of the ways